G'day, Heath here from PickingLessons.com. Black Mountain Rag in the key of A. We're at Capo 2, playing out of G shapes. This is going to go with the first version of PickingLessons.com, which is in the key of D, also at Capo 2. You often hear this tune played out of A and D in the same version, yeah? So you can bounce between the two. So we're going to check out the key of A version here. In a moment, in this video, we're going to have a look at part A. There are three parts of the tune, so we'll check out part A here. But if you head to PickingLessons.com, you're able to grab yourself a copy of the tab in the member section there we'll also break down the remainder of the lesson part B and C and you'll have some play along and backing tracks there to help you out as well. Okay let's start out with part A here we'll check it out together nice and slow essentially in part A and part B we could almost repeat the first four twice uh, but we've got a variation so you could you've almost got two versions here for part A. So the first four bars we have nice and basic version of the melody. So that would get you through. You could repeat that twice. That'd be kind of cool, yeah? Um, and often you hear that played twice through, just nice and standard. But we're gonna check out a variation as well in a moment. But let's have a look at that. Essentially playing out of this G uh, triad position. That's where our melody is kind of sitting. We're sliding up out of the flat three into the three there. And this little feature of the melody, we kind of just repeat it. And then the fourth bar, we do change it. So let's just check that out a little bit closer. So we're sliding in from fret three to fret four, open second string, and then the melody's all on that second string, yeah? So up stroke, down, down, picking just following the eighth notes. There's our hand position, you can see there's that triad to our G position, our G triad, second finger, first and third. Up stroke, third finger, First, third, first. Repeat. But hold for the melody there in measure two, yeah? Uh, measure three starts out again. Measure four, we close it off. We resolve this melody. A little bit of cross picking. alternating that picking as we do all the way through, yeah? So that's nice and basic. Let's have a look at what's happening in the second half. It starts out in the same way. We have this slide up, same melody, but then we're gonna take it off on a bit of a tangent, yeah? Just to make it different, uh, go into some more blues notes, a bit more um, uh, a variation there. So we have... different way of closing it out, yeah. Like I mentioned, you could just repeat the first four measures twice, but let's check out this. So we do start out with that same slide. Now we're gonna be back into the first position there. We're gonna hammer on. So measure six there, let's check that one out again. We've got this hammer on. And then chromatic, up to the, the G there. Now from that position, To, um, that pull off there, bouncing off the first string. Another pull off, second half of the measure, third, second to first, to the uh, B flat, to the slide. Open G string, and then the pull off there to resolve. So um, measure five through to the end of measure eight. A couple of open strings there just to sort of fill it out. So we can see two different ways of playing that part A. The first four you could repeat, and that would be great. Um, the second half is a variation, so you can have that tucked up your sleeve, ready to go for a variation. It's always nice to have a couple of ways of going about something. So we do something similar in part B. Part C is, is 16 measures straight through, so there's no variation as such. Um, the melody just sort of carries through the 16 measures. So pickandlessons.com, we're going to check out the remainder of this uh, arrangement. We're going to check out part B in the member section there. We're going to check out part C, but you can grab yourself a copy of the tablature as well. So pickandlessons.com, I'll see you there.